Well, new this hour tonight, if you're looking for a gift that can help people for years to come, we have a few ideas for you. Chris Buckley has some Christmas gifts aimed at helping the financial future of loved ones and the community you live in. If you're having trouble finding that perfect gift, you might consider contributing to a loved one's financial future. For kids and teens, that could be through a college fund. 529s are great plans. You can always ask their parents, their grandparents, if the children have that type of plan established and where the plan is established at. And people can add towards that, which is more of a long-lasting gift. Those plans are set aside for higher education costs and can grow substantially with regular contributions. They could be used for um, different expenses as far as vocational college expenses and when distributions are made they're tax free. A gift retirees can give their children is making plans like long term care coverage so their kids don't have to worry about the financial burden of a health crisis later in life. A lot of these grown um, pre-retirees are facing these issues with their um, parents currently so they see it firsthand and they don't want to put their children in similar situations. So it's just having these conversations and making sure that they have a financially sound plan. The stock market has done well this year, but with those gains come taxes. There are ways to use that tax money to help local charities. Capital gains do create a taxable event. So when you have a stock that's done really well and you sell it, that will create a taxable event. So for example, if you have a stock and you have, you know, $15,000 of gains instead of you taking that tax impact. Now you're able to pass along that to a charity, an organization here in the community, and now you're not impacted by that taxable event. For those nonprofits, every little bit helps. Covering the story, Chris Buckley, 2 News.